and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back, then welcome. So in today's video, I am filming this makeup look for you right here, which is inspired by this liquid lipstick from Colourpop. This is their Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Chalk and Roll. And this is the look that I came up with. It's very different to things that I usually wear because I'm not a big lover of cool tones. However, I'm feeling this look, you know, it's giving me like little like gothic vamp vibes, if that's a thing. I don't know, but I do really like the way this turned out as per usual with every one of my looks so that in every video I'm kind of getting sick of myself saying that but yeah if you would like to see how I created this makeup look please carry on watching before you do please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's just carry on with the tutorial bye Right, so to start off this look, I'm going to go in with this shade right here from the James Charles Morphe palette. This is the Style Style. This is the shade Punch Me, which is like a cool toned brown. So I'm going to take that right here. And I'm going to take that on my Fancy Co blending brush. This video is not sponsored, but it's going to look like it is just because I got a new mirror. Fancy Co has kindly sent me out a new compact mirror because a while ago my Anastasia like handheld mirror brush so they sent me this huge compact mirror out that has a light on it so super happy with that so thank you so much to Fancy Co and um, the links to their website will be down below this video is not sponsored they didn't even know I was doing a video but definitely go and check them out they're just the nicest company and the nicest people behind them so yeah go check them out but I'm just blending this into the crease Just blending this into the crease of my eye using little circular motions and then windshield wiper motions just to make sure it's nice and seamless as we can possibly get it with one shade. It is hella windy today guys so I'm really sorry if you hear the wind in the background. That cannot be helped. As mother nature, she is on a path. The next shade that I'll be taking is this darker cool toned brown right here which is called T. I'll be popping that also through the crease. And I'm taking that on my Morphe M513 brush, which is really fluffy. Don't have time to curl my hair today, so I'm just going to go with the throw it behind my shoulders look and hope that it looks okay. Going to, oh, that bitch is pigmented. Okay, so just blending that through the outer corner just to diffuse it a little bit and then bring it through the crease. I'm just going to go back into the lighter brown and use this to diffuse a darker brown. Then the final shade to pop into the blending is this one right here which is called Benny which is a really dark chocolatey brown. This is really nice. I'm going to pop this onto the, that was a weird sound. I'm going to pop this onto the outer corner of my eye and then blend it into the crease. I'm going to take that on a Sigma E25 a tapered blending brush. This is very rich. Very rich indeed. Not like my bank balance. Way! I'm just going to start by packing that on the outer corner. This is so dark, it's like almost black, but it's not quite black. And then just blend that slowly on the outer corner. And I'm just going to reverse blend. So I'm going to take a little bit of the like medium to dark brown and blend that out. And then go in with the lighter shade. The next shade that I'll be taking is this beautiful bronze shade right here, which is called Wig. I'm going to pop it on a flat shader brush, wet it with a little bit of setting spray so it really picks up the colour, and then pack this all over the lid. And I'm going to take that on my Revolution Hyaluronic Fixing Spray. So I'm going to take it on my Morphe 224 like flat shader brush thingy, just spraying it with a little bit of fixing spray. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to pack this all across the lid. I'm just going to take a teeny tiny bit of that really dark brown, almost black shade, and then just blend this on the outer corner just to kind of soften that edge a little bit. And just kind of tap it over the gold. So I just quickly cleaned up my under eyes with some micellar water, took the cotton pad and just went like that just to sharpen the edges up. Then I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil, this is Sigma's Wicked Longwear Gel Eyeliner Pencil. I'm going to pop this on my waterline. I'm 
then I feel like I'm missing my wing. So I'm just going to take my Revolution Renaissance Flip Liner Pen and apply it my wing. So I'm just going to start by following the natural, like, lash line. And then I'm just going to follow the shadow up and then put it back in. Next I'm going to take the middle brown shade, not the darkest one, and I'm going to use this to blend out the lower lash line. Smoky. Now I'm going to curl my lashes, these are the Superdrug Rose Gold Eyelash Curlers. Then for mascara I'm going to pop on my Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I'm just going to pop my lashes on off screen. These are the Suzanne Jackson New York style lashes. I've just lost the case of them, but I'm going to pop these on and I'll be right back. Lashes are now on. Now it's time to move on to my face. So to prime, I'm going to take my Primark Blur Primer. And this is just a really nice smoothing primer to blur out the skin. This is only £5, but I'm going to spread this all over my face. And to massage this into the skin, starting with the trouble areas, such as my chin and my nose. And for foundation, I'm trying to use up the rest of this. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Ivory. I have another backup, like there. Literally, look at my finger. It's there. But I want to use this up first, obviously. So I'm going to use the rest of this to use my foundation. Use as my foundation. For cream contour, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Mink Stick to Flawless Foundation Stick. See? nearly running out but what I'm going to do is pop this under my cheekbones just to make the cheekbones look a little bit higher and more sculpted then around the tops of my forehead and my temples I just like the way this looks in pictures and then under my jaw to make it look a little bit more chiseled under my lip to make it look pouty and then down the sides of my nose just to make it look straighter and so my nose just doesn't kind of like disappear with the rest of my face. Then I'm going to blend it into the skin using my Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush, just in little wiggly motions. concealer I'm going to take this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer in the shade Light which is on its last uses so hopefully I can get some use out of this. I'm just going to pop this on my chin. Around the mouth, sponge is kind of broken and then in the middle of my forehead. I'll pop a little bit on that blemish and then of course under my eyes. And then down the nose. Then I'm just going to blend it in using my beauty blender, just in like dabbing motions. Then to set all of this into place, I'm going to go in with my Revolution Matte Base Powder in the shade P4. I keep going to say in the style, in the shade P4. I'm just going to pump this into the skin to make sure it's nice and set into place. Just using like a big fluffy powder brush down the neck as well. For contour, I'm going to take my Nip and Fab Light Contour Kit and I am going to take the shade, oh, the lid's broken so I've got to take that off, but I'm going to take the shade Ginger, which is this one right here, to contour. And I'm taking it on my BH Cosmetics number 3 contour brush. Just going under my cheekbones in the same place where we put the cream contour earlier. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going to take my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Glow. Just use this to bronze that my face, just on the outer perimeters of my face, kind of across my cheeks and then on the centre of my nose. This is kind of where I tend to put my bronzer. <music> 
For blush, I'm going to take this one right here, which is Primark's Taboo Blusher, and it's only £1.50. It's amazing. It's a dupe for MAC Peaches. Just popping that on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to set this all into place using my Revolution Hyaluronic Fixing Spray. Now for highlighter, I'm going to take this one, which I haven't used in a while. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter in the shade on the cusp. It's part of the Kathleen Lights collection. This is amazing. So I'm going to glow up my face using this. I'm just going to take this on my So Eva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush, of course. The best highlighting brush ever. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Just going to pop some above the brows as well, just like the way it looks when you tilt your head. On the nose, down the nose, above the lip. And then I'm just going to blend this out using my blusher brush. Something is missing from the look. It's definitely the highlight on the brow bone in the inner corner. So I'm just going to take the same highlighter on my pencil brush and just pop this on the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone. I'm just going to take the brush that had the lightest brown shade and use this to blend in the highlight. Then I'm going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. Then I'm going to set my brows into place and take the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Medium Brown. So I've already done my brows obviously at the beginning of the video. Um, I don't tend to include it because I think it's quite boring to watch. But I put the Etmore Beauty Fibre Brows all through my brows. Then I'm going to set it into place using my Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Medium Brown. So now it's time to move on to the lips and I'm not taking a nude, I'm not taking a red, I'm not taking a brown, I'm taking a grey. This is Colourpop's Liquid Lips Ultra Matte Lip Sorry in the shade Chalk and Roll. I'm going to pop this on. I think it will go nicely with the cool tones in the crease. I don't have a grey lip liner or like a grey kind of eyeliner so I'm going to apply it straight from the wand and then use a lip brush to help me like smooth it out later. How funny do I look right now with one bottom lip, with one lip even. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. It's a cool toned, smoky eye, grey lips, very different to my usual kind of vibe. But I actually really like it, you know. I feel like this lip could be my new thing, like the bluey grey lip. Yeah, I'm into it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you already have, thank you very much. Be sure to check me out on Instagram. I've been posting so much on there recently. Loads of makeup photos and fun skincare videos, makeup videos, beauty videos, that kind of thing. So please go check me out. My handle is Siobhan Makeup Biz. And yeah, I shall see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Still dying. Oh, is that really cute, doggy? For like bl brush, blush. What? Now I'm just going to plop, plop. <laughs> what is this? My Sims. And then, oh, moving on to. Oh wow. <clears throat> brown, dark brow. What? <laughs>